Hey guys, welcome back. Lauren with Breaking Browder Farm here. Boris is running around playing. Um, but today I'm coming out here and it's nice and hot. I should have done this in the morning, but you know. I have a light pH and moisture probe. So we're gonna see how this works. I got it from Lowe's. I think it was about six dollars. Um, and it gives you a chart here on the back of different um, plants and their good light and moisture levels. Let's see what we got. So it's fairly easy. You have your moisture over here. You just click the switch over there. Your light in the middle and then your pH over there and you just switch it wherever you would like. Um, you stick the probe into the soil close to the plant and the thing will measure it for you. So let's see what we got. It's late afternoon, like five-ish. Um, let me get you closer in there. So I switched it over to moisture. That's our moisture. And P8. All right, so it's a little alkaline, um, but it's pretty close to seven. So not too bad here. Let's try it with our peppers. It says it's dark. It's, it's late in the afternoon, so. Or excuse me, that's pH. Well, not too bad. Go to light. Not bad for four o'clock. Um, they are a little dry. I did water them this morning though. So I guess uh, with the peppers, uh, I can. Yeah. With the peppers, I can water them again. Ah. Now, you can see why this would be a great tool to have. Um, just because our garden didn't do that great. Um, now I know what amendments I need to go ahead and put back into my beds. Um, and also how much to water my plants. Um, if you saw our last, one of our last videos, it talked about how often we water our garden. So I guess I need to increase it with some of my plants. So acidic soil can cause the leaves to drop and wilt, where alkaline can cause them to change their color. Both of these can stunt the growth. So a pH is very important, just yes. like your light and moisture. I will definitely be using this tool in the future when we plant our 2021 garden for the spring. I do not believe we'll be doing a fall garden this year, although we did have a good harvest last year. Patrick doesn't do much of the broccoli and kale and all that stuff that comes from your winter garden. I do, but it's time to let our beds rest. Um, they've been through constant planting, and I think this summer garden really showed its struggle. So, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.